guys welcome back to the channel and today you join me in a generation one audi r8 it has got the 4.2 litre v8 naturally aspirated engine tank from the b7 audi rs4 bit of a random purchase didn't plan to buy the car got it sent through on whatsapp from a friend and uh, basically yeah it just looked really nice good condition decent price uh, i've been really really busy this week which is why there's not been much content but i thought how can i not film this already first time i bought a supercar or what should i say bought a supercar for llf games and some of you will know this is on the website right now uh, you can probably win it either today or tomorrow uh, for one pounds and 99p so yeah i'll jump out show you the car from the exterior and then we'll hit the road we'll just go for a little cruise man pov cruise whatever you want to call it slow me down like speed humps no. keep up when i speed up no. see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life as mentioned, black body, full murder spec, wheels are in absolute mint condition. We've got full Maxton body kit. You can see here we've got the darkened headlights and uh, it is sitting on BC Racing coilovers. So it is stanced really nice. Pirelli tires up front, we've got these huge calipers, drilled discs. Uh, yeah, the car's got literally, uh, I think it's stage one tune. So these are 425 horsepower from factory. This one's running 457 horsepower. And um, yeah, you can see it's really nice, man. Blacked out, probably do some tints. Got the rear wing. So yeah, man, let's jump out. And um, jump out, I've seen people comment that before. Jump out, what are you talking about, Ricky? You're already out, mate. So this is what it's like, people, getting into a supercar. Yeah, it's a really nice layout, man. It feels special. I know it's getting on now, 2007, but you can see 68,000 miles. It's decent miles. You know, it is a RS4. These are really reliable. It's had uh, recent services and it's in decent condition, guys, ready to go for whoever wins it. Single clutch, no dual clutch transmissions. Obviously these new cars, you know, you have the clutches um, operating, you know, even on odd gears. It is nice to drive a single clutch uh, because it feels like I'm driving a manual. It actually makes this car really, really exciting. You know, if you're a person that's not given the choice to drive many cars in life, obviously cars are expensive. You know, we have priorities. But somebody like me who's driven like five, 600 cars, after driving so many dual clutch transmission vehicles, cars with adaptive suspension, you realize these little imperfections, like a, look at this pause, like as it changes gear, it's so cool, man. It just, this is the new old school, basically, you know? Um, these newer cars, you know, I love them. You know, I, I always praise them, but there's something really cool about an old school single clutch, almost like the E46 M3s, the F10, not the F10, the E60 M5s. Have a listen to this, man. <laughs> bro, we are in a supercar for like peanuts. Like you can, bro, there's kids out there buying RS4s for 50,000 pound. You can buy one of these and save yourself 10 grand. Do you know what I mean? We got a really good price on this. Have a listen, we've not even got it in sport. But such a precise car, man. So once upon a time, this car was 95 grand, which is pretty cheap for a supercar, I suppose. The V10 was probably about a 10 or 20 grand more. You know, the V10's obviously a much more desirable engine. But I think this engine being lighter, you know, it, it could mean it could handle better. Who knows, it might be that little bit more dynamic. What it is. Let's go um, sport, so this will sharpen up the throttle, sharpen up the gear shifts as well. We'll give it in. <laughs> so, um, Man, honestly, the exaggeration of the gear shift is just awesome. It literally feels like I'm driving a manual car. Could you imagine a manual version of this with the gate and shifter? Wow. Do you remember the twin turbo R8 that I filmed ages ago? That was one of the best experiences I've ever had in a car. A twin turbo R8 with that gated manual box. It's just levels, man. 
And honestly, all I can say to you is this car's got a shitload of low down torque. It's not even that the numbers are crazy. Like when you compare it to like the, the, the V8 and the E92 M3, that's 295 foot pounds of torque. But the problem with the, uh, the, the, the Beamer V8 is they make torque so much further down the RPM. This car is real low down, similar to like the pre-gen C63s. They just got it all low down, man. Just makes it a little bit more drivable. Don't have to be wringing its neck. Although this car, it revs apparently to like eight and a half thousand RPM. I'm not sure if that's the V10, but I think we're gonna have to go. So we're in sport. Let's turn traction off and see. So it's uh, not eight and a half guys, it's about 80, 100 RPM. Man, it's nice, really precise at the front. Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah, now, that's actually got a, a V10-ish sound to it, doesn't it? Look at the auto, uh, sorry, the rev matching. It's because of the weight, so like, it's a pretty light car, we're talking, 15 to 1550 kilos. <laughs> Wait, it's a proper dive. Like, when you need to change gear, it dives, it just stops. Like, when you compare it to a dual clutch, of course, you know, way faster, you know, more capable, less interruption when, when shifting. But this car's got character, a lot of personality. Look at this, we're in like a pretty high gear and it is surging forward. As I said, yeah, 1500 ish kilos, 1550, 1600. We've got the flat bottom steering wheel, the lever, electric seats, they're, they're fully heated. Have a listen to this. <laughs> Shit, this car's offensive, man. We've got the BC Racing coilover, is one thing I'm forgetting to mention. I think it had like the Mag Ride, they do have their issues over time and probably the cheaper option is to just change it out for some you know coilovers like some kws or this owner's gone with the bc racing but still very nice around town you know these cars from factory they did zero to 60 in around four and a half seconds and this is actually the one of the first cars i ever rented i actually drove well you know what i'm just gonna be honest with you guys i actually crashed uh one of these yeah when i was very very young man like it's probably i don't even know man i must have been about 24 about 10 years ago this car is yeah 2007 so yeah uh, it was a it was a white r8 i just sort of hit it up a little well like a proper write-off or anything but um i was trying to drift it it was you know but i'm not intimidated driving this car you know my visibility is really good i mean look i don't know many supercar owners that are gonna gonna take it into there like that but look it's nice i always praise bc racing coilovers this is what the m140 had this is what my civic has they're just like so well priced like but you get a, a, a car that that still rides around town really well but you know it makes the car that bit more dynamic so yeah look we're traction off because we have obviously got four wheel drive. It is a quattro, you see quattro badge up there, which means there's power going to all four wheels. Um, I doubt it's like the Golfs and, and, and some of the uh, RS models where it's a, 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 a temporary front wheel drive car. I'm sure it's permanently sending power to all four wheels. It feels super planted and... Um... <laughs> Sick. You see what I'm trying to say, bro? Like, this rear BIOS, man, it's like a rear wheel drive. You can easily agitate it and send it sideways. But yeah, um, I mean, this is a car that I've not even brung near my house. I'm like, nah, it's not that car, man. It's too loud. Getting onto the drive, it's pretty low. And it's just too much unwanted attention, you know? The condition is genuinely A1 inside this cabin. The door cards, like, I've, you probably can't see because it's a bit dark, but there's not a scratch, not a scuff on these door cards. So I don't know what all of this here. We've got like a, I don't know if you can see down here. We've got a Pioneer head unit. We've got this vamp sign. I'm not sure if that's something to do with maybe some upgraded speakers. And honestly, you know, I'm a guy that has to be in the latest and greatest. Like I'm a bit of a, well, I've been a bit of a year snob. Like 
I need to be in a newish car. And if I'd seen one of these before, I'd be like, bro, you're in a Gen 1 R8, allow it, man. Like, you've got the Gen 2, which is almost like the, the must-have R8, right? But, like I said, the more, the more you get into cars, the more you start appreciating. This is cool. Like, there's no way of knowing how much you can pay for one of these cars. Like, this parked up, pulling up to it at the petrol station, looks unbelievable. Like, dead on from the front, like, it looks like a 70, 80 grand motor. But yeah, as mentioned, it was a bit of a random person. Purchase. We weren't planning to do a supercar. Of course, we want to start doing some awesome cars like the Gen 2s, the Hurricanes, the 720s, the 570s. So, guys, I am going to end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. As mentioned at the beginning, I had to get a video shot in this. I've been super busy, um, but yeah, how can I not get a video in this? I already said as well that the competition does end, I think, tonight at 10.30. I will literally be revealing the winner of this car tonight. Tickets are literally £1.00. 99p and the ticket link is in the description below and i am also excited to say uh, that i put up a post on living life fast the other day instagram and facebook and uh, yeah i've lined up a couple of car features i think i'm gonna throw a few up on living life fast see how it goes test out the old algorithm see how she's doing over there at living life fast and uh we go from there man so yeah i'm gonna probably get a couple of these features lined up over the next couple of weeks got some pretty cool cars as well so yeah till next time slow me down like speed hum no keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past see the smoke when i drive past fast lane living life fast see your girl she's in my car oh well that's your girl in my hotel that's five stars make the rules disappear